Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to check out one of the cutest little telescopes you ever saw. This is the Newtoni 50mm Newtonian Reflector by Acuter. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, is this a good telescope for your kid? Let's take a look. The little Newtoni is a close relative to the Sarbu Max 60 telescope. If you haven't seen my review on that, check it out. This telescope is completely charming. It's on a little kind of a ball head mount. It's not a great mount, but it's sufficient for this telescope. It's all you really need. It's fine. This thing opens up like so. This is the coolest thing ever. So you take the lid off. It's a pretty high quality plastic. And what you can do is you can see inside there. So you can see inside the telescope. Very, very cool. A lot of educational value for this thing. This is great for a kid. A kid can see that a Newtonian telescope is based on light going in the front, hitting the primary mirror back here, coming to the secondary mirror up here, and bouncing out through here into an eyepiece. And that's... This is where you look. That's where you put your eye. A kid will find this... I think to be very interesting, a parent will probably find it to be highly valuable in teaching the kid a little bit about science. So that's a really nice feature of this telescope. It's not a great telescope. The optics, <laughs> come on, it's not a beautiful telescope, but it's pretty cool. And for what, about $50 or so, plus or minus, this is going to be fine. And it's you know, the fact that you can open it up means a kid's likely to put something in here, like some bubble gum or whatever, store some cars inside there. This becomes a garage instead of a telescope. Anyhow, so that's fine. Not a big deal. You're not going to be out a lot of money if they destroy this telescope. And in the meantime, they can actually use this. This is pretty user-friendly. A kid can actually aim the scope, move it around, look through the eyepiece and see something. In addition to the one eyepiece, this is a 10 millimeter eyepiece, this gives you uh, roughly 20 power. They provide you with a couple of other things that are nice. This is a nice, this is very, very useful. This is an educational kind of an instrument. This is a little um, screen. I'll show you that up close. Let me show you how this little, uh, these optics work. This is just a 10 millimeter eyepiece. It's a cheap eyepiece, not really high quality. The images here are not really, really good, but they're not bad. The nice thing about this is this eyepiece comes apart. So you can show the kid that there are two pieces of glass inside there. And that's pretty cool. Good learning experience for the kid. This is a little viewing screen. It's just a piece of, uh, uh, they would call it frosted glass back in my day, but it's not glass. I'm sure it's plastic. Anyway, a uh, piece of frosted plastic that will show an image when you put this put this in where the eyepiece goes. Okay, here's the telescope set up on the kitchen counter. I'm looking at a telephone pole. Put an eyepiece in here. And if I'm careful, you can hold Hold this so that you can see that. That's what your eye would see more or less. Take the eyepiece out. Put in this little viewing screen. And you can see this makes the point that the telescope simply delivers an image. It's making an image on that little screen. It's upside down, but it makes an image. That's all there is to it. That's a great educational tool for a kid. With this telescope, you can take the same, get the same result by taking a piece of ordinary tape, like that, to the frosted kind, tape it across the top here, and you'll see all of a sudden, there's the image. It's just projected onto the piece of tape. Depending on which kit you get, you may also, it may also come with a, a phone adapter, smartphone adapter. This is a pretty cheesy one, but uh, you can slip the phone in there and hopefully arrange it so that you can find. This should be pretty universal, It'll probably work with most any phone. 
So you just find the thing, get it all lined up. Hook this to the top of the eyepiece. Take the eyepiece out, attach that there. Put this eyepiece in the telescope, and you're all set. This is what the moon looks like through this scope. Now I've got the little Newtoni set up with a bunch of models. And these are uh, replicas or semi-replicas of Isaac Newton's first telescope. This one is about the same scale as Newton's original telescope. These others are a little bit smaller. But this one, the Newtoni, is almost exactly the same size as Isaac Newton's first scope. As a matter of fact, it's probably, in many respects, quite comparable to Newton's first telescope. So that adds to its educational value. I have much more about these scopes, these models, in a video that I produced. See the link in the description. Unfortunately, this cute little telescope is not available in the United States. As a matter of fact, I bought mine from Japan, actually. Um, now, in, it is available in Europe. And I've left a link to uh, one of the sellers in Europe. It comes with most of the accessories. I'm not sure if it has all of them, though. And it also is available in the United States as a Celestron kids scope. Uh, it's not quite the same package. It looks a little different, but it's basically the same scope. And uh, you can buy it there. All of the, the prices vary around $50 or so depending on where you might buy it. The recommended age for this telescope is 14 years on up. I would say you could probably go considerably younger than that though, especially with some adult supervision. I might go as young as maybe a, an eight year old, something like that, just as a rough guess, with adult supervision, of course. And you wanna make sure the kid never looks at the sun with the telescope, that's important. Now I've got the little acuter Newtoni set up next to a couple of other scopes that are Comparable in price, they're a little bit more expensive. These are 3-inch, 76-millimeter Newtonian reflectors. Very comparable. Everything is quite similar here. This one's the smaller of the three. Um, I, I would recommend that if you're going to go cheap, don't go with these guys. Go with this one. This is a better telescope for a cheap telescope. The optics are just as good in this one as those. It'll give you just about as much of an image it will deliver just as much educational value, much more educational value than either of these two, and it costs about $25 less. So if you wanna go cheap, go with this one. Uh, on the other hand, if you've got some extra money and you really wanna get a decent scope, I recommend an Orion with a uh, parabolic mirror. It's a four inch, and I would recommend that you get the one with the parabolic mirror. That's important, that's critically important. Those have much better optics than these telescopes with the spherical mirrors. These are really cheap. The parabolic is a nice, good quality optic. If you really want to get the best beginner telescope that I would recommend for you, that is the Astronomers Without Borders. It's a five inch. Uh, it's a beautiful telescope. Runs around $250. So you're jumping way up in price here. I, I understand that. But um, if you want to get something really decent, for your kid or for yourself as a beginner telescope, you can't beat the Astronomers Without Borders 5 inch. I've got links to all of those in the description. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Acuter Newtoni 50mm Newtonian. Thank you for watching.